different known points can enable us construct the elevation of a site using isolines. Isolines are lines drawn to link different places of equal values. Iso is a Greek word meaning equal. For example, we can join up all the places that are of the same height above sea level. When we join these points together, it forms a contour line. Since GPS became functional in 1993, it has gained application in hundreds of areas, even tracking humans. In this video, I will concentrate on construction and civil engineering. A GPS receiver is required to accomplish your site tasks. There are basic guidelines when using GPS receiver. Number one. Make sure the sky and sunlight is as clear as possible. Number two, set the receiver outside for about 20 minutes. This helps the accuracy. Once the signal is okay, you can move from one point to another around the site. Number four, PS satellite is not situated in the North Pole. They are located in the East, West, and South Pole. Number five, if you turn the GPS to the North Pole, it might cut off signals. You need to wait for about 10 minutes for reconnection. Number six, do not set the receiver on the ground. It must be hand held. The ground reflects signal and information back to the satellite that degrades its accuracy. Number seven, do not turn the receiver upside down. It could cut off signals. Number eight, you can connect the receiver to an external antenna. This enables you not to block the GPS view of the sky. The two most common antennas used are geodetic antenna and magnetic base antenna. The magnetic base antenna are at times used on the roof of a car and the geodetic antenna is what you can see on the screen. Number 10. The internal antenna is better and more accurate at receiving data than the external antenna. 